what we have right here is a 4k mini camera now this little guy runs on battery 3000 milliamp equal to what up to 100 days in a standby mode one single charge now it's a 4k and angle view 160 degrees night vision motion detection in this video you're going to learn how this camera works let's do that right now Make sure you subscribe to Media Box NT by hitting right there in the side and notification bell. Why? Because we bring you more camera text that will help you into your next project. All right, so what we get right out of the box, so we have the instructions. Cable for charging the camera, type A to micro USB. Right here, even to your memory and you can review it right in your computer. Now, comes with this cool stand for the camera in this the little adapter. I'm going to show you later on how you connect this to the camera. Now, the next step you want to do is just go and download the app. It's pretty simple. Android devices or iOS devices, just go and download it and install it right on your phone. Let's review the camera. So if you're looking at the camera right in the front, we have 160 degree 4K. Night vision, motion detector. If you're looking right at the top, pretty simple. And on one and reset switch. For the reset purpose, you're going to hold for 5 seconds and automatically you reset the camera. Now, if we look and right the other side, we have a power cable, right? Macro USB. When you get the camera, make sure you charge in the beginning. And right here, if your memory supports up to 256 gigabyte, make sure you get a good memory, good to speed. It has to be 10 plus. The way you install it is this way. All right and push it down in this case it's 128 gigabytes so the camera now is pretty cool because you can set the camera anywhere now it comes with this cool little adapter all right so we're gonna add this adapter is right to the side from the power pretty simple we'll push it down and now clicks the right there and now we can use this this way all right so you have a 3m sticker the cool thing is you can use this even as a dash cam or you can stick that anywhere you want it Right, that's one way to use it all right so let's turn the camera on so when the camera is on it's going to blink blue but what we're going to do right now we're going to reset it so you hold there five seconds what's going to happen right now it's going to click right if you see that blue and red and it's going to start blinking red color means it's ready to pair next step i show you how to pair the camera right with your phone all right so what i'm showing right there you see the light blinking every few seconds and that's perfect Okay, so we got the app. So we're gonna go and edit the camera. Pay attention to this. We're not gonna scan the camera. Simple way. Run the corner, hotspot. We're gonna go connect. We're gonna wait and to show you the camera. So we're gonna wait, it's gonna show up right here in a second. If we see here, light cam, and it give you a number. I think maybe each camera has a different number, I would think. All right, so we click right over there. It's going to do a connection, so a hotspot between the camera and the phone, so you're going to lose internet connection at that point. I'm going to get a message now that said, by the way, there's no internet connection. And I'm going to tap here, and it says, yes, it's fine. All right, so now the connection is done. So we're going to go back, go back one more time, go back one more time. Yes, and the camera is right there. Now, the beauty of this is I can set now the hotspot between the camera and the phone, so I can use it anywhere I want it. Right. So at this point, we're going to click on it. All right. So we are connected and we can see a real nice high resolution. Now I just have this is in an AP mode. So it's hotspot, but it's not connecting to the internet or anything. What we're going to do right now, we're going to hit the little wheel in the top and we get the information It's online. Great. So I'm going to go to device settings network connection and now connect it. By the way, 2.4 gigahertz network. All right, so I'm gonna connect 2.4. I'm gonna type my password. It's right there. Let's click connect. Let's click connect. And now the camera is gonna start blinking with the blue light and then we can see it right there. I see that? Yep, see? Now it's gonna blink every few seconds blue. That means it's already connected and it's already connected. I already get a message. So go back. Let's go back and just wait a second until we get the full connection. Right, I said it's online, even shows me the signal. 
and I get a message right now, the camera has been detecting something, me. All right, so what we're gonna do now, so when you stole the memory, format the card, let you know the storage here, click format and you can allow sound or not, I will say sound will be the cool way to do it. All right, in the healthy devices, we'll keep the IP address, MAC address, and all the information from the camera. And then we have a three modes here, so very important. So the sleep mode, and only gets activated when the camera detects something. And you get information, and then you can log in and view. If you do that mode, the battery can last up to 15 days. My next mode is continue working. So it's, it's feed all the time. It's feed all the time. I log in, it's feed all the time. It's always recording. It's always recording. That will last up to 19 hours worth of battery. That's life you're thinking about it, right? 19 hours, now I've stopped recording. In the next mode, the camera is in a sleep mode. I mean, the camera goes quiet and went into somebody pass by. Somebody pass by, the camera will start recording, but will not send you any information and there's no way to be able to log in into the camera. That mode is pretty cool when you want to leave the camera somewhere and come back 20 days later or 30 days later and pick up the video and not review it on your computer. There is no way to log in with the camera and don't need to be connected to the internet. Now, the cool thing on this camera, you don't have to connect to the internet. So the only thing you need to do is configure the camera the first time and then take the camera anywhere. Turn it on and that's it. When you come back home and the camera detects the network, it will come back into the network and now you can view it or you can leave it in your house and be always connected and you will get the feed online so you can you can mash things around yeah you can use the hotspot version or you can just take the camera and record by yourself or you can connect it right into the network so let's go back right now power mode then uh, remember the camera comes with the three days cloud service so it will refresh every three days so after the third day it will delete everything and come back and that includes with the service if you put the memory the memory has a loop format will continue record when the memory is full will go and delete the oldest video now the detection mode so you can turn it off turn it on and pretty simple, they ask you, you know, how you want, how frequency you want that to as well too. In this case, I'm going to leave it general. I think that's the way you want to do it. And then recording duration. So when it detects something, it will record 10 seconds and we can go all the way up to one minute. Remember, every time you increase time, well, they play the battery faster. So if you want truly the 100 days, then you want to leave it the way from the manufacturer set by the default settings, because that will allow you to stay up to 100 days. But if not, you can increase 10 seconds, 20, or whatever time you want, up to one minute. And I think that's about there and all that information right over here. Okay. If we go back again, we have the view and as you see, real nice resolution. Now I can change to HD, auto or standard. Right now we have an HD mode, monitor. Remember, there's no speaker, but I can hear what's going on or what is coming from the camera. Right, we have the last view. We can play back, remember, up to three days. We can play, it comes with the plan, you know, part of the camera. So you can always go and review up to three days. Or we can review it right from the memory. Okay, you can either use one of the things. Night vision, screenshot, and record. And that will record on right, your phone and run the camera at the same time. Run the tab. We can see the battery. Practically, it's about 75%. We see the time, and you can remove that if you want. If I click here and I'm going to go full motion, I can see now, check that out. Okay. You can see it has a real nice resolution. And again, from here, we can make the changes. Battery wise, HD is connected to the Wi-Fi. I was really impressed on the resolution of this 4K camera. Great. And it's super small and portable. It's 1.5 inches wide, 1.5. All right. Remember, you can use this as a dash cam. Turn it on. That's it. The only thing I recommend it is just do the begin configuration right uh, right in your phone when you connect to the network and then you can take the camera. If you're going to use a dash cam, remember you want to set it as continue recording. So you turn it on, it will continue record to 19, 19 hours in a loop format. Eventually, you know, the memory will get deleted or as you go, it will, the videos will get deleted with the time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the link right below so you can go and buy it and let me know. Where are you going to install the camera? Are you going to use it as a dash cam? Oh, in your house. I'll see you next time. I'm Dario, and this is Media Box ENT. Bye.